Hi, this is Bob. I always let the camera run for a few seconds before I start talking because I found out that uh, sometimes when I put a video on to YouTube it clips off the first few seconds. Does that on the tail end too. I, I Maybe it's my camera or something like that. I'm using a little handheld camera. It's got autofocus and if you hear a little click 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 in there that's the autofocus clicking. Uh, anyways, been doing a lot of things inside uh, here during the last three weeks. In fact, I've only been out of the house once during the last three weeks just to get a couple of groceries. And uh, other than that, we've been staying inside, uh, complying with uh, with the, uh, how should I put it, the procedures for this uh, terrible uh, virus uh, epidemic that's coming. And it is it is hitting around the area here, too. Uh, we don't have any right in this county, but uh, the surrounding area does. Anyway, uh, what I have here is a little 2-meter antenna tuner that I built. Now, I'll tell you, I was never interested in a 2-meter antenna tuner. Never thought I would ever need one. But uh, what happened is I have a copper J-pole up on the tower at 80 feet made out of uh, made out of copper pipe, half inch copper pipe, and uh, the spacing between the 19 inch section and the 57 inch section on that copper J-pole is rather critical. So I, uh, anyways, I went to check uh, here the other day and found out that uh, I had this uh, ICOM 746 Pro which I hooked up onto that J-pole up there and it was only developing like 25 watts out and I thought, wow. And then I looked at the SWR, it was sky high. Uh, it was like three and a half to one. So the SWR shutdown circuit in the 746 Pro was shutting down the output on two meters. So, oh my golly. So anyways, I got to thinking, I wonder if I could make a little antenna tuner that would uh, make that work, at least until the weather got uh, warmer and all, and I can get up there and fix that antenna. I had two capacitors, they're 100 microfarads each, in the junk box. I know I got these at a ham fest, I think I paid like a dollar a piece for them. I found two knobs in my uh, little little uh, coffee can full of knobs, and they have numbers on them. I mounted two little tiny screws, one there and one there, and that's the little uh, marker for the knobs, so you can tell where you've got them set. And then. Uh, I have two coax connectors back here, and I wanted to talk to you about coax connectors a little bit too. I had ordered uh, some coax connectors off of eBay, and I found out that they were not threaded properly. Uh, the threads were not long enough, and they were too big. You got to watch out for those cheap connectors. So I put those two connectors on here, and I was not able to screw the uh, cables on. The cables just, uh, that little, I just had a little block under there, it fell over. The cables uh, would not screw on here, the PL259 connectors, because the threads and the back part of the SO239 connector where the threads are was a few thousandths of an inch too large. And I was able to file them down and make them work and I really didn't like that. I dug and I dug and I dug in the junk and I found a little uh, mini box I had with two connectors mounted on it and I thought well I don't need that for anything. So I took the two connectors out, put them into this, took the other connectors off. But my, uh, what I'm saying here is watch out for cheap connectors. You want good ones. You might have to pay a little bit more money for them but they're worth it. Anyhow I got good connectors in there now and everything's working like it should. Now this thing is so easy to make uh, this mini box was used for something else and it's got a few little extra holes in it. I don't care. There, those are on the back. There's a hole right here and I just glued a little piece of aluminum on there to, to uh, fill it up so you can't see it, but there's a hole there. And uh, so this little tuner has just two adjustments here and here. Uh, there's uh, two turns of number 14 wire. It connects to this capacitor here and this over to this capacitor here with the two turns they're really not very neatly done, are they? And then it just goes on over to the coax connector here and over to the coax connector here. And just a little bit of playing around with the knobs. And of course I'm using the uh, the 746 Pro rig here, so 
if the SWR that I had adjusted on this little tuner is off, why the 746 Pro shuts down and it doesn't hurt anything. And I've also got it set at half power. I carefully set it for 50 watts out using the bird watt meter up there. As you can see, that's a 50 watt slug in there. So full scale is 50 watts. So anyhow, this worked out so nice. I thought I'm going to show this to the guys on uh, YouTube. And it's nice to come down here in the basement and do stuff like this when you have to stay in the house. So uh, anyhow, I, uh, I just took whipped and put this thing together. I think it was two hours it took me to uh, assemble this and it worked right off the bat <laughs> and because I guessed at everything it really surprised it surprised me but uh, it worked out great so I thought hey I'm gonna show it to you guys maybe some of you have an application for this maybe you've got a two meter antenna up there that's not working quite right you got a three to one SWR or a two to one SWR well this will take care of it and uh, I really like the way it works so uh, it doesn't really matter which, which one you use as your input and your output, although I did mark them on the back because once I get it, put it in place, I don't want to change them around because then that might change where my knobs are set. And once I got this thing tuned up, I just loosened the knobs and I set them so they both read 5. So to get it set for 146.52, uh, I just turn it to the 5 on each one. Now they have to be a little bit uh, uh, adjusted. I, I should say they should be tweaked a little bit after I get it, but you're going to be pretty darn close when you set it to that number. So uh, that's the deal there. I just wanted to show you guys this nice little project. Took a couple hours to build, something to play with in the shack, but also I'm going to use it to uh, keep my two meter antenna working because uh, working there because uh, it's so uh, messed up right now with that uh, bent element. We had some high winds here uh, this winter and it just bent the element on the uh, on the uh, copper J pole. So when that 19 inch piece on that J pole and that 57 inch piece get to moving apart from each other, the SWR goes up. Or if they get too close, same thing. So uh, anyways, uh, that's what I've been working on here. So it's a really nice little project. Wanted to show it to you. And let's see here if we can... I just put the uh, rig on transmit here, running the 50 watts. And let's take a look at the uh, 746 Pro uh, dial here. You can see right there that one little dot where it says SWR. That's the SWR. Now I'm going to tune this uh, little tuner here, two meter tuner, and look at that. There it's off resonance. You can see the power output is cut back by the 746. And as I tune it in, the power output comes up. I go past that point, and the same thing occurs on the other side now. So that's the deal. And I, I really like this little tuner. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to put the cover back on. It looks real nice when it's all put together. The cover's over here. There's the cover. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you a nice little one evening project that worked out great and that you can use. So uh, 73s and good DX.